that's what you should feel. No excuses, right? No excuses. You got to get it. You got to get these guys to the Super Bowl. What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about whether or not Jason Garrett is on the hot seat and the loaded roster. This is serious. All right, guys. So, you know, title says it all. Uh, Jason Garrett has a loaded roster. So, it's now or never. So basically this video is coming from a conversation I had offline with Foots the King. He sent me a picture and said, you know, it's uh we you can't you gotta win with these guys. So take a look at this picture here. Four players, Amari Cooper, Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott, and Jalen Smith. All right, so all these guys are on one team, all of them from huge, the biggest iconic college programs there are, all of them on one team. It's almost like the Avengers. All right, so we really have no excuses and that, that's what would uh foots talk to me about and you know i it just it just hit home to me it hit home i was like look at this all right look at this picture again look at this talent look at these four players where they're at right now you know they're all cornerstone players no excuses right no excuses you gotta get it you gotta get these guys to the super bowl so it is you know it is time for jason garrett to get the squad to the Super Bowl, you know, he's in a contract year, just like some of our players. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's time, okay? So what has Jason Garrett done here? Let's take a look at his stat line here, because we do that with our players. So we're doing it with the coach here too. Ninth season, 77 and 59 in the regular season. He's got three playoff berths, three NFC East championships to his name, but he's two and three in the playoffs, you know, and they haven't been able to get past the divisional round choke city all right you know along with a stolen game there in green bay so there's an excuse you can sell an excuse for anybody all right it's it's just whether or not you're gonna buy you know i've said that a couple times are you buying or you're selling so for this enough is enough all right nine, nine seasons like i said here nine seasons that's a long time he's the second longest tenured coach in cowboys history tom landry owns the biggest one coaching here for for decades all right so he's already surpassed you know some of the greats before you know bill parcells you know, obviously jimmy johnson one of the best that there ever was barry switzer these other guys <laughs> have been able to get to the cow have been able to get the cowboys to the super bowl all right so the road to six it begins now so tom landry jimmy johnson barry switzer got himself a super bowl so between the three five super bowls can jason garrett get the sixth Super Bowl, all right? That's a question. And it's not whether can he get it. He's got to get it. He has to get it. I don't know if getting to the NFC Championship, you know, buys him uh, a stay of execution. Uh, but at some point, you know, as, as loaded as the roster is, you might have to get the guy that is the final piece. And sometimes that's the coach. We have the program in place. All right, we, we have, we finally got a guy in here, Will McClay, that is able to produce great, outstanding draft boards and great draft classes. All right, so we have that in place. We didn't have, we didn't have that in place after Jimmy Johnson left. We didn't, all right? We were screwing around, blowing draft picks, blowing first round picks on wide receivers and making bad, you know, every bad decisions, you know, personnel wise. You get Will McClay in here, you have a wiser crew with uh, Stephen Jones really leading the way with the contracts. And Jason Garrett, you know, came in here first day off the bat. I was impressed with his opening presser when he was named the official head coach in, um, you know, 2011. And, uh, you know, we're going to be physical. We're going to be a run team. We're going to open up the passing game. And then it starts up, up front with the trenches. All right. The offensive line, defensive line. And that's what we've seen the Cowboys doing. They're investing in, in both those sides there. And everything else is kind of just, you know, on the periphery. Uh, but, you know, and and there's a lot of, um, we've seen this before throughout the league where you have a program in place, but the coach can't get, can't get the team over. You know, we saw with Tony Dungy in uh, Tampa. Maybe if they gave him another year, maybe he could have got them over that, over the hump. But, you know, Patriots ran out there and they brought in Gruden and he, was that final little piece that got them over into the Super Bowl. All right, is that where the Cowboys are at right now? That's the question I have for you guys. For me, it sure seems that way. 
It really does. I hate to say it, but you know, this team is ready. If you can't get it this year and Jason Garrett's in a contract season, you know, and on the hot seat, you know, you're going to have to make that move. And hopefully this uh, front office has somebody in mind. If, if Garrett can't get it done, is it going to be a Christian Sharp? Or is he too young? Is it going to be Harbaugh bringing him back into the NFL fold? Is he the final piece to get you over the hump? Or do you make some crazy trade and get Sean Payton? You know, there's a lot of things that, that can happen here at the end of the season. Let's hope it's Jason Garrett. We want him to succeed. We want him to get us to the Super Bowl. We want this program that he's been a part of to succeed and get us there. But let me know what you guys think, all right? I'm really interested to see what you guys have in the comment section. All right, as loaded as the roster is, is it do or die for Jason Garrett? How far does he need to get into the playoffs to secure a contract extension? Is it Super Bowl or bust? Is the NFC, is the NFC championship okay? Uh, you know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, nine years. We're going on ten after this season. Let me know what you guys think. Continue to like if you like this comment. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.